Hey everyone, sorry about the video quality. I'm away in Lake Placid, home of the miracle, and I don't have my regular equipment, so bear with me. Anyway, today was kind of wild. We had another situation like the one that happened to Alex Galchenyuk, except this one was much more avoidable. Adam Ruzica of the Arizona Coyotes, who I know I'm butchering his name. It has a bunch of weird European things in it, so I don't really know how to say it. He had a little slip up and posted a video of himself going on a what looked like coke bender, on his public Instagram story, the video showed him with white powder, a credit card, and a vial, so it was pretty obvious, but it was immediately made news by fans and hockey reporters alike. Later, Ruzga was placed on waivers for the reason of contract extermination by the Arizona Coyotes, and it seems he has ended his own career really before it even started. He's only played 114 games, and this is really sad because he obviously has a problem with substance abuse. I think there are definitely two sides to this. On one hand, there is an NHL player assistance program that is specifically made for situations like this and rather than have him enroll in the NHL assistance program he's immediately going to be terminated and he's not going to get the help he needs I mean he might but as of right now he's not in the NHLPA and I really think he should be on the other hand he is a potential role model for kids out there and obviously if you have a player that is publicly abusing substances it's both a bad look for the team and the league itself so I get that side of it but either way and this may be a hot take, it's the wrong decision to completely terminate his contract and kick him out of the NHL. That's what I think. People are not what they do at their worst moments, and anyone would have a hard time adjusting to money and notoriety. I think it's unfair to establish something like the player assistance program and immediately kick players to the curb when they actually need to use it. He made a bad decision, and I don't think there should be no consequences, but I also think there needs to be some compassion for young players who make mistakes like this. I just think it's really sad, and I wish that the NHL had a mandatory enrollment into the NHLPA before a contract termination. Just, uh, just really sad. I hope Adam gets the help he needs. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good night.